Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously and we hear the stories of everyday people. My name is Shireen and we have Jay here. Hello. And today we're going to talk about space. Cue the intro. I feel like this idea of space feels like a very big concept. It is. What does space mean to you? Well, I feel like when I'm thinking about space, there's so many avenues that my mind mm -hmm. goes towards. So first being physical space, like literally where I am and what I'm inside, whether it be a room, a building, or even a certain atmosphere my physical presence in mm -hmm. that space then i think about it in terms of space something that's not tangible like time when i need space or i'm trying to create space for self-care or something mm -hmm. like that it's not a tangible concept but there's space in that and then thinking of it in terms of my identity yeah uh, so thinking of it in like my space that i consume or my space as in like as a black woman mm -hmm. um, and my space then in the world. So kind of like in reference to someone else or another experience. Mm -hmm. So I look at it in a lot of different ways. <laughs> yeah. And what's coming up for you when you're thinking about space right now? Wow. I think the main thing that's been coming up has been like asking the question to myself and then trying to create more conversation around are we mindful um, about our space? Mm -hmm. You know, how we take up space, whether it be truly being in a physical room and how we feel or are placed in that room or to, in reference to with other people, mm -hmm. you know, am I taking up too much space or is space not provided to me? Mm -hmm. Do I realize that like my space is kind of being diminished um, in certain exchanges or in certain um, shared, you know, communities. So I think now it's just like asking that question, like, you know, how often do we think about space? Understanding that the space we consume has an impact on those we encounter and on the world around us. I believe everything in the universe is connected. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really been coming up for me in a lot of different ways, obviously with everything going on. Um, and with Black Lives Matter and, you know, really just having this, this kind of cry and call out to say, we matter, the space we consume matters, yeah. our existence matters. Um, and that's been, I was just telling a friend the other day how odd um, it feels to have to shout Black Lives Matter because that's such a common sense statement, but it's not a common practice, at least not in the world and society, I should say, not here. It's not an intentional thing mm -hmm. that everyone is going into the world with that intention. And I think, when I think about space, I think about purpose, Yeah. right? And so, you know, when you talked about physical space, like, you know, coming together with a purpose, we create space for people to feel represented, yeah. to be seen, to be mm -hmm. heard. And then when you are coming into like a physical space, how you're contributing to the energy and mm -hmm. then how much space you're taking. And yeah, I feel like there's been a lot of conversation about not taking up too much space for, you know, black voices yeah. or the Black Lives Matter movement. Right. And this word, is, this word space keeps coming up and I've been using it a lot more too. Same. And I think it's interesting um, that you brought this up because yeah, it's just a very big concept. It is. I don't know if it's something we think about a lot. I think something else that comes up is who has the right to space and how that has to be dissected in terms of, well, what's the context? You have a right to your existence um, for that to be seen and heard and that the space you consume to be acknowledged. No matter who you are. No matter who you are. Mm -hmm. If you think about how there's a lot of like spaces for like black people to connect and heal mm -hmm. um, and recognizing that that's a sacred space for that experience. So though we all have a right to our existence, sometimes we do have limits on the spaces where we should be or where we 
I don't even want to say where we can be because there's nothing like forcing you to stop but I think that there's this level of acknowledging like could should I have space there am I thinking about um, what that space is for and allowing myself to be okay with it if it's not a space that's meant for me but still appreciating and respecting and acknowledging that these spaces are sacred for those that they are for um, so that's just an example of one but I think it's also like in differing experiences like this the the fight for unity and collaboration and solidarity but are we having a conversation around even in solidarity there's still a need for specific hyper focused spaces for very specific experiences because that type of connection can't be taught it can only be lived mm -hmm. um and i i just see this kind of there's like this little kind of battle brewing i think in some other like in context at least in arguments mm -hmm. um that's how you see like all lives matter and it's like here this is what we're talking about um yeah. you know yes that is a fact however obviously we see in mm -hmm. terms of like society in this space of our society that it's not showing up that way yeah and i think you know some people may be challenged with this idea of exclusivity mm -hmm. but i think when there's like a purpose or an intention tied into the reason for the the more narrow focus mm -hmm. then um you have to just kind of be respectful of that i think it's just like being more conscious of the space that you're entering how do you fit and if you fit mm -hmm. and being okay with that if we're thinking about how do i take up space i can have good intention and then i can take up space and have a negative or a hurtful or harmful impact. The intention is very important. Is it my ego that's making me feel like I should be here or this is not okay because I'm not invited? One thing to think about is that spaces can coexist. You just have to keep the ego in check mm -hmm. and you know think about the big picture. In solidarity, yes. Can we coexist? You know, I think of it like a racetrack, right? And mm -hmm. we're all pushing towards the same end goal. We all have lanes, you know, and we all have individual fights that we are pushing towards. We have all these different things that are problematic or issues within our society that we need to address. From my experience, this is what's been happening and therefore this is what I'm fighting for because this is my lived experience that I, I wish to change, but that doesn't then mean I'm not allied and not allied in the sense of a t like a noun, but in the sense of a verb allied mm. to these other you know lanes and and showing up for these other lanes and supporting these other lanes and i acknowledging them as their fight being necessary really connecting with them on that that doesn't then mean i make their fight mine but my experience put me in this in this route that i'm headed towards but i can still coexist with these other kind of spaces and i can show up in these other spaces as support when it's for me to show up you know sometimes they may have certain things that are just for their experience. And mm -hmm. I respect that experience because I understand the need for it. Yeah. Talking about space is a lot. Obviously I spaced out <laughs> conversation about space. I like how you said being an ally is more than just being a noun. It's mm -hmm. an action yeah. that you have to do. Standing in solidarity is not just your presence or your positioning mm -hmm. it's doing things yeah i think this idea of space is i'd love to have people to have conversations about it yeah. and and kind of define what space means to you yep and how has this time felt for you by you know seeing all these things happening have a conversation about it absolutely shameless plug yes uh so my organization fuse her fly um we do tough talks and in this very same conversation about space recognizing the need to take space from kind of being very actively pushing out content within my organization as far as like events and things mm -hmm. um because so much was happening that i on a personal level needed to get my mental health together um and then i i started to really dissect well okay what is this who is it really for like what's the true purpose of this space that we're creating and is that clearly seen in what we're doing um and seeing that there's some discrepancy there so we 
are in the midst of our own restructuring, even with our mission and just trying to take the time to make sure that our space is very clearly stated in terms of why we exist, why we're here. And that's even looking at all of our programming. So we had Tough Talks, which you were a part of, mm -hmm. and transitioning that to be one, mindful of this pandemic, two, mindful of the need for so many different conversations towards unlearning. So like rebranding to Tough Talks towards unlearning and going to be having a lot of table talk conversations, start some dialogue within our communities um, about things like this, diving into some of the things that cause a lot of separation for this at least within the female experience there's so many layers to what's required for us to truly have unity to truly have connection coming soon everyone <laughs> <laughs> definitely check out um jay's organization fuser fly i love these type of conversations even though they feel you know almost like difficult to grasp i think those are the ones that we need to continue to have because I mean, I mean, mm. even both of us were kind of challenged to talk about this. Yeah. But I think it's important to talk about it because mm -hmm. it's not just common sense. It's not just what we know. It's it's not really learned. It's not something that we've really talked about. And so mm -hmm. I hope you all take an opportunity to talk about it. I'd love to you know hear what you all think about space. Thank you, Jay. Absolutely. I appreciate you. We do this every single week, the Upside Down Smiley Show, where we talk about everyday things with everyday people because everyday people matter. You can learn so much from people in your life and people you, can, you have easy access to. Yep. And so keep having those conversations. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.